Hey guys, we're finally making the video. <laughs> it's been, this is I think the fourth time we've tried this. Yeah. It's been canceled due to 40, 50 mile per hour winds, uh, brutal cold. <laughs> we get out here yesterday and it was 65 degrees, so it was perfect. perfect. But then we had 20 mile per hour winds and a fire. Across the lake. That was blowing smoke across this way, so anyway we're finally doing it we're finally making it <laughs> so here is our 2019 jayco hummingbird 10rk yes and if you will we'll tell you the positives and we'll save all the negatives that we found until the end of the video so make sure you watch until the end yes but for now i'll let her tell you break down in the kitchen, the kitchen. So that's where we're at right now is actually at the back of the kitchen. But before we go there, let's break down what the 10RK actually stands for. Uh, Jayco has a whole line of different uh, RV types and everything, and every little number room says something different. So the 10 is actually means the 10 foot, and that's from the front of the cab to the back of the cab. RK, rear kitchen, which is where we're at right now. So let's just go ahead and start here. So you can kind of already tell everything is pretty straightforward it's very nice and compact which is kind of the whole purpose of this particular model so you've got your microwave your refrigerator your sink and also storage as well in different places um, some of the things that are kind of nice is this storage here actually when you open it up actually goes right into your garage if that's what you want to call it but it actually has access here and also along the side which we'll show you here in a bit again plenty of storage lots of space for basically what we're doing is basically kind of boondocking in the backwoods or small weekend camping is what this is kind of, this model is really good for. Lightweight as well is fantastic. All right, but back to the kitchen, sorry. All right, <laughs> so the refrigerator is actually kind of a small. Um, if it, don't, don't judge what we've got inside. This was just, like I said, last night's right. meal was supposed to be it. But yeah, anyway. so, um, and it's a very small space. Um, we have our, it did come with actually a little flap here as well. So we're actually, we, we removed that, um, but that was because it was cracked as well. So it wasn't any good for us. It got in the way. Yeah, it kind of did get in the way. So gave us a little bit more space, um, usable space, I guess I should say. And this thing does get cold. It oh, stays yes. cold real real good in the summertime, 100 degree weather. It'll keep your yeah. beer and everything cool inside. Yeah. The um, freezer, kind of small. Yeah, you can fit but, maybe I mean, a single steak. If a single steak, a, a package of hot dogs. That's probably about it. Bacon if you take it out and put it in a freezer bag and wrap it yeah. just special. But it, it just is the extra cold beer department. Yeah. <laughs> but if... If you're going to be out for a long period of time, yeah, take your adult beverages, put them in an ice or ice chest. Just, yeah. Save that for your food because it will run off the battery. Yes. So if you're out boondocking, it's one of the items that will run off the battery by itself. But one thing to note also is that it will only run off battery. This particular model will not run off the propane that comes attached to it. So definitely note that for now. We'll talk more about it later on, but battery only. Same with everything else you see basically back here. The sink will run off battery only as well. Hold on, correction. It runs off a of battery only plus shore power, of course. Oh, yes. Every, everything <laughs> runs off of when you have it plugged in. Yes, yeah. So the pump also works here. Now let's talk a little bit more about the sink. The sink actually does come with a shower attachment, which is actually really nice during the summertime. Again, there's no hot water heater, so you get cold water. <laughs> And the hose actually, if you try to shower anywhere underneath this awning, it goes everywhere. You need to actually pull it off to the side to be able to shower. Um, otherwise, you'll be wiping up water forever. <laughs> and the spray hose in itself is basically kind of like a water it's a hose, garden hose, a garden hose it's a attachment. Garden hose. It's good for spraying off your shoes, your dog. Um, Lightweight. It, it was good for us. Summertime, 100 degree weather. The water feels good. It's perfect, yeah. But any other time, uh, if you're like camping right now and you want to shower off anything, no. you definitely need a hot water heater. Yeah. That, that's not even an option. So, um, yeah. So anyway, that's that. The other one too, with the sink, it's actually a pretty deep sink. Um, it's about four to six inches here. Um, the other one, it does actually come with a stopper inside of it. Uh, one thing we have noticed with travel is you actually do need to be careful and actually probably remove it with travel because sometimes it does actually bounce around and get kinked in there and get stuck. Yeah. So that's one thing, it's uh, when we're packing up everything, that's one thing we remove all the time when we pack up. And okay, so now once that's actually filled up and everything, you've used whatever, 
the water, there's no gray water tank in this unit. So it actually does just come right out the side here. So two things, easy fix, um, biodegradable soaps, always very handy and everything, use that when you can just drain right to the ground. Or the other one is get a hose attachment in the bucket. Yeah, five gallon bucket, that's what simple. we usually do. Yeah, simple. So um, yeah, sink, TV. Okay, TV back here. This is not the original TV that came with it. But we, it's about the same hunk of junk that, we, that, came, <laughs> that came with, with it. it. Yeah, so we have, we ordered this one online. It does have a DVD player and everything. We'll link, uh, link it below. Yeah, and, um, but it does actually run off the battery. If it has the, uh, the what is it, DC bolt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it will actually run off the battery on boondocking. But if you want to watch it. it, usually you don't if you're boondocking. So. But anyway, so the, the TV here, we, I don't think we've ever really even used it back no. here. We, I, we, we basically, we just bought it for this video. Yeah. Uh, it, we, we gave the, the one that came with it, we gave it away. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we decided once it, it ran off the 12 volt battery, it's like, oh, we, we need to have it for this video. So we went on Amazon, bought this one. It's basically the same TV. And I say it's a hunk of junk. I mean, compared to your TV inside, the sound, it's it's what you pay for <laughs> but you're not going camping to watch tv right but if you do i mean it, you can buy works. you can buy an upgrade upgradable tv but this one works great for sitting here kitchen entertaining if people yeah, want if to you watch, watch a game or something i, I could see that being useful yeah because it does come with an antenna yeah so i mean i could see that being useful there but as far as it goes i've seen a lot of mods on these where people have actually removed these off and added extra storage and everything i now understand why they have done that um i it's kind of a wasted space for us personally but that could be just the way <clears> our <throat> camping life is so yeah. plus when you're out camping not only are you you need to think about yourself, but your neighbors. I mean, yes. we're out here right now on off season and no shame to these guys that are half a mile away <laughs> because it's so quiet, we can hear their radio. Yeah. So if we're out here thinking we're out here all by ourselves and we're blaring this TV watching YouTube or something and say somebody's hiking a half a mile away fishing or something and enjoying peace and quiet after a long, hectic week, we're ruining it. For yeah, so that's so. something to consider. We did look at actually like the headphones to actually relay to, you know, the sound, but if we're not using it now, why should we make that yeah. purchase? So if it's something we use, that's something we'll continue on. But right now, I, I don't see us ever using it personally. Yeah. So, all right, so moving on, um, there is actually two hooks here. You can't really see them probably from the angle of the camera right now, but there are two hooks here that come standard. Oh, sure. And um, we did actually add a towel rack, a paper towel rack to here. Um, we're, that's something new that we're trying out right now. We tried a different version and it's actually kind of a compact then. We'll link the description now, or the, what we bought on Amazon. <laughs> Sorry, I can't think what it is called. All right, so anyway, all right. We talked about the refrigerator, microwave TV, storage. Um, there are, like I said, there actually does come with actually compartments in it. We did buy a uh, tray for this one to separate silverware in here. And yeah, oh, your um, main controls are here. So you can actually see your power level, your water level, your fresh tank level and everything. Plus your pump, your water pump switch is on there. Yeah, and there is built-in lights as well. There is a blue light and also your regular LED light. It probably won't show up because of the lighting right now, but there is lighting back here and it is really actually cool when they have the underground, um, underground, <laughs> under mount, the blue LED lighting. It yeah. is actually really pretty cool. So, um, yeah, other than that, I mean, there's pretty much all there is. Oh, I will talk about this real quick. Um, this actually comes with the little cam locks here. So uh, one thing that you might want to consider upgrading, we'll talk more about it later, but um, actually replacing these cams. It's a little longer. It, longer. Longer length is actually what you want to do. Better um, security. Yeah. So, but this just shuts down and that's pretty much your rear kitchen area. It's pretty basic, simple, compact, which is the whole purpose of this design is compact. Yeah. Um, when we first got this, we did find a couple of Facebook groups, and yes. uh, so yeah, you can look look them up if you end up getting one of these. They they have a lot of mods. I mean, I've seen people remove and build and a pull out table kitchen it, it, telescopes. So you'll have a table 
and storage. And they've done their uh, propane stove on here and some storage. It's They've done a really great job. Done away it. with the microwave? Oh, that's one of the other mods that people have been doing is the uh, they put a vent here because there is no breathable for the refrigerator. So that's probably one that I would look into first if we did a whole lot more camping on longer stints yeah. of time. But we've been weekend camping it for a while. Yeah. Because, you know, work and jobs and... <laughs> life <laughs> adulting's fun all right guys we're going to move on to the side okay so this will be your main entry into the camper itself uh the reason why we say it's your main entry is because it is the only side that actually has a step which okay so that's something to consider when you are actually parking it and everything because depending on which way you want the main entry in and out you'll definitely want to place this in the correct direction sometimes that's not an option but that's something that we have noted in our camping experiences is it is kind of important to actually know otherwise you fall out the other door when you're not really awake in the middle of the night. <laughs> so um, the, we'll show the inside here in a minute, but let's talk a little bit more. This particular model is actually a glacial package and a Baja edition. What does that mean? Okay, the glacial package actually means it actually does have a little bit more insulation. The only thing that really we have found in and of itself, it does hold the heat really well, but the other thing it does actually does, and your water bladder underneath, there is an extra layer of insulation that actually protects the water, the fresh water tank. So that's what that actually means. Uh, highly recommend it if you are going to be cold, cold camping, uh, but we don't actually keep any water in when we're camp, cold camping, so I'm not sure. I'm not trusting a half an inch to an inch of insulation. And it's going to freeze, yeah. so I, I, don't, I don't know if that's, it may actually have some more insulation in itself, but we haven't found any documentation or any other resources saying. What, what, we've, what we've figured out, I mean, we've never had a camper like this before. To, right, to compare it to? To compare it to. But we've taken this out and not only last night, but uh, a couple months ago we yeah. went out and it was like 20 degrees outside and we fired up our little heater, brought it up to 70 degrees inside, went to sleep at around 10 o'clock and yeah. until about 4 a.m. when yeah. we had to use the restroom, we opened up the doors and of course let in air, but before we did, it only dropped maybe 10 degrees and it was perfectly warm so, i mean so i mean if you're used to sleeping in the cold this is great for actually camping yeah in, in i cold mean weather. it's we, a glorified tent that's, really that's really what this is yeah. uh, but yeah so i that's what basically this whole package means now the baja edition actually means it is actually jacked up a little bit higher than the regular standard which is actually very helpful for us because whenever we go down those back roads that are really bumpy there's lots of brush and everything this, we have never had a problem with this towing behind us. Knock on wood. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to put a, a little bit more stress on it this year. Yes, yeah, it'll be definitely our little, tested our, more. Our little gem of a lake that we found to go camping to has got a nice little washout that yeah. we're going to take it up and down. I mean, we bought, we bought it to go off-roading, and so, if, it, if it can't make it, then so be it. But right. if you want, if you want to make sure to to uh, see that subscribe so you can see the videos later on so all right so the other thing that, that does come standard with the two tires obviously there is a spare on the other side underside underneath uh, we've never had any issues with the tires at all um, they're pretty beefy and they're yeah. great so. yeah that and they're brand new so yeah so all right then this one here is the compartment I was telling you that was from the that connects to the back rear kitchen and it's really simple there's plenty of space in here we have different stuff. We have our shower gear, the connections, RV, shore power connections. Um, we have our water, boon, hose. A water hose, our boondocking stuff. So cords. I, just everything. Camp, camp stove. So, yeah, so I mean, it's definitely got a lot of space. We haven't really ran into an issue with spacing because but of the way we, we, we haven't We haven't been out longer than four days. Yeah, so. but so. All right, um, there is porch a, oh, light. the porch light, which burn out already but, <laughs> but it, it was just a bulb we just need to get a bulb for yeah it, but. it's it's not bad it's okay i would upgrade that if i had a choice but yeah it it wasn't very bright and i don't need amber no it i don't know it's okay yeah. it's there it's provided so. but another thing on this side these fenders are flimsy and one negative go ahead and talk about one negative since we're right here is small little screws they're just screwed on and it's only two year. years old yeah, two. and 
screws are already falling off. So, so you, you pay thirteen thousand dollars for or I think they're they were asking thirteen five for this brand new sticker price. You'd expect it to last a little longer than that. But anywho. But again, it is a small glorified camper, so uh, glorified tent. Tent. Yeah, tent. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> tent. So But um one more thing. Little guy look into getting as much security as possible because this is a popular little camper and if you get one and yeah. you tow it around you'll know it's a popular little camper you can't go to a camp or we haven't been able to go to a camp spot except for this one because there's nobody there's no here, here. Yay. but every time we went to a camp spot we're usually the most popular ones there yes they'll come up to us and want to talk hey, and as we're even fine. traveling yeah people will come we've up had to people well. wait in a walmart parking lot on us to come out of walmart to talk to about it talk talk about it we've had people chase us down and follow us into a yeah. gas station to talk about it so i, I mean with that if, if you're not a people person this yeah. ain't for you I, but i will say that that that's a plus in a way because that actually tells you the popularity of it so it could actually be a really good investment for you because this is great for the backwoods hunting camping yeah i, I can't even imagine this would be fantastic if i was a hunter and I, I i i really can't understand why jaco went ahead and did away with it so i mean i think they prematurely did away with it too soon because of how popular it is with people people are just now seeing it for yes. the first time and they're wanting to know about it yeah and i mean we bought it we bought it for like nine thousand dollars uh we're because still seeing it sell for thirteen thousand dollars online right now because they don't make it anymore and there's right. people that are wanting it yes i would never expect to see a camper go up in value but this one seems to be doing it so if you happen to find a good deal on it i and you this is what you want i would say snatch it up definitely yeah. but and it's it's a great camper <laughs> and yeah. so all right, let's move on. Okay. To the front. Okay, so now we're at the front of the camper here. This is what I was talking about, the 10 foot. So the 10 foot starts from here, not from the tongue. If you start from the tongue, it's actually 13 foot. So keep that in mind if that's what you need distancing and you're trying to figure out what size that actually your vehicle will be able to haul. And all the specs, we'll have all the specs that, I mean, you can find it on the website. Yes. Uh, this video is basically for the stuff that you can't find on the website or it's hard to find, like the stuff that we were looking for that we couldn't find we're telling you about it now so you don't have to try to go and <laughs> find one just to figure out if you want it or not. So I'm going to let him take over on this part because this is kind of his area. This yeah. is what he takes care of. So go ahead. Um, you got your power jack. This is great as long as you got battery. If the battery runs out, there's a small little insert up here. Pull it out. It comes with a wrench, speed handle, jack it up and down. Perfect. Um, it had a 30 30 pound propane bottle mounted right here and when we first seen the camper we thought okay that's great it'll run the Fridge. refrigerator and the grill the, the grill on the side which yeah. i wasn't a fan of the grill on the side you're not even going to see it in the video because i've taken it off and put it in storage yeah uh, <laughs> but, but with that being said with it not running the refrigerator i didn't want to waste this space i mean a 30 pound bottle it, it came up to here it was a waste of space to me okay so i pulled that bottle off it's running my smoker at home now my plans are i want to pull this single uh lead ass battery it's a deep cycle just your typical marine battery pull this out i've got a tongue box that i want to put in here with two batteries yes have a dual system so we can go off the grid a little longer because yeah. with this this battery when it was good before we rent it this year uh, <laughs> before I, it, it would run a few days off just using your leds and whatnot and, so it, and, it worked out great and also with that being said there is no kill switch or shut off switch for the battery Correct. itself so that's a part of something you do definitely need to note and yeah, you you need to either wire it up yourself or, or get get in the habit of pulling this this battery out during the winter time and find a place to put it some people have said they've gotten underneath and there's a fuse box underneath you can pull the fuse from there but i we, we couldn't I, find it yeah I, i'm sure it's there i'm just yeah well yeah but we'll find other ways <laughs> another thing on this thing is wired for solar yes okay here here's another thing that i screwed up on 
I didn't. There's a sticker inside, on uh, behind where the TV. The, is, to the left of the TV yeah, is where it's at. Where the TV, it was there. I just seen a sticker. It's ours now. I don't want this on here. So I pulled it off, and then I looked and read what it was. That was exactly where you're supposed to drill the holes if you want to put your charge controller inside. Right. Oops. If you if you happen to do that <laughs> without seeing this video, you can you pull your access. microwave and you can still access the back to see where your wires and everything. You might not get it dead on, but at least that way you'll know where the wires are so you can make an educated guess. Right. So, so read your stickers before you pull, <laughs> pull them off the camper. Yeah. We haven't played too much with the solar. Uh, we Because, again, we have only been a weekend camping. So yeah. that's something that's going to be coming up hopefully this year if things play out. Yeah. It, so. Yeah, we're, we're hoping to go to either Colorado or Red River for a week this year. It, we, don't, we don't know if that's going to happen. We've had some things pop up, like she said, that may take that's going to take priority. <laughs> so, so, uh But... We'll see. Yeah, so. back to the video with you. Yeah. Yeah, under here, the spare tire, uh, it's got a, a wrench. Better yet, come to the side with All right, guys. Like I said, on this side, you got a wrench down here, your tool that you use to jack down your uh, stabilizing jacks will fit on this. It'll winch down your tire, disconnect it to lift your tires to whichever one has the flat on it just drop your stabilizing jack it'll it'll raise that tire up good to go yep. um on this side your low point jack or <laughs> sorry drain low point. point drain to drain the freshwater tank yeah is and there. i don't know if we did, <laughs> if we did it the guy we bought it from tony uh, <laughs> He, he, he told us, you know, how to how to set it up and drain. Well, we did it this year. And it seems like every time we've moved this trailer, there's still more water there's still coming water out. water draining out of it. So I don't get it, but that's as, okay. long, as long as it hasn't frozen and broke anything, and we're it good. Hasn't, so, and it hasn't. So we had zero degree sub, <laughs> sub temperatures this year. And so far, yeah. everything's been holding up great. So evidently, we did something right. Yeah. So, and so what I was talking about with the no step, so this is the side with the no step, and I was talking about you can actually fall out if you're not paying attention because they're, they're, it's a quite a bit of a drop when you're sitting Yeah, especially down. when you're on because an you're, unlevel surface. Yeah. Say, say you got a wash out here. Yeah, you're you're going to go It could be a four foot drop. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> so that's something to note is definitely if you are sleeping in it and everything, which side is the main side to exit because this could be a problem and you end up in the hospital if you're not yeah. careful. So, so. That's this side. This side here also continuing on. This little thing here is actually for the grill we were talking about. It does mount on, it slides on, and but we didn't like it. Um, it's kind of flimsy. Yes. It's very flimsy actually. Um, it can be useful. I think you need yeah. some more stabilization on it. And um, and it's, we prefer campfire. Yeah, to I mean cooking. I can cook I can so, cook with gas at home. Yeah. So that's one thing that kind of we realized as we continued to camp that that's something that we didn't even need. So that's why the propane tank was actually removed because we don't even use nope. it. Because it's all it's used for. This entire camper's propane is only for Just. the grill. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so that, and it does have a quick a quick disconnect, which is really nice right below here. Yeah, yeah, so, right I mean, down here. If you are using the propane in the grill, that that's fantastic for that. But again, that could be just the way we camp and the way things are. So. Yeah. But we got rid of it. All yeah. Right. You've got your water fill. Yep. You just, that goes straight to the tank. Yeah. Then we have our shore power. And, and then, then above there. satellite TV. Yeah, the satellite your... TV, which we don't ever use that. No. So, and then also you have your city water connect and then your drain point, which we talked about to the sink as well. So yeah. um, that's, oh, this model has yeah. the air conditioner as well. The important part. <laughs> this is the whole reason why we bought this camper. Yes was for an air conditioner because we live in oklahoma and temperatures skyrocket into 100 degrees in the summer and it's just miserable you can't enjoy being outside in those degrees but <laughs> this only works on shore power so and i mean you you can run it on a generator of course but you'll be yeah. that annoying person unless you're out there by yourself right. um so yeah if if you're thinking if you're if you're temp campers like we were and you're looking for just to upgrade your 
just how, how we ended up with this is the tent we were looking for a small air conditioner that goes in a tent yes and we couldn't find one we did it was like a thousand dollars like i'm not spending a thousand dollars on an air conditioner for, <laughs> for a, tent. a tent that won't hold the so air, we so. started looking at campers and pop-ups and well if we're and gonna spend that money this thing popped up oh my gosh it's got an air conditioner this will be perfect and we didn't think that it would be that hard we thought maybe oh maybe they've got a way to run it on a battery no there's Negative not ghost rider no no this so. runs off of shore power shore power or a generator but most of the time, whenever you are actually boondocking, a lot of the times you are in cooler places, so it doesn't even yeah. really matter. It's just if you're in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas. Suck it up. It's. It, it, I mean, if you're, if you're going to sleep in a tent, it'd be no different because yes. this thing does have, it's not a max air fan, but it's, it's. I think it's a fantastic fan. Yeah, fantastic fan. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Crank that thing open. Open, open the, the one, one window. Yes. That's a negative. One window opens. You do you have your other windows these, on these the door. Door windows do not open. They're solid. And uh, so anyway, yeah. Open that one window and you got that stream of air just flowing through. Get yourself a fan to yeah. blow that back towards you. Towards your and face. You'll be fine. I mean, we were when we first got this, we took it out to her dad's land and it was probably an 80 degree night. It was we ran out of fuel in our generator so we fired that thing up i slept perfect the rest yeah. of the night matter of fact it actually got cold yeah it was surprisingly i got cold during the summertime so, but yeah so, i mean that's not necessarily i mean like we said it's not necessarily negative that it doesn't actually run on the battery but it is something to consider that that a lot of people if you're not knowledgeable in that like we weren't yeah so that's something to definitely note as well that you will definitely need shore power to run that so all right well that pretty much does wraps it up does it for the exterior, exterior. let's then, uh let's take them inside okay here Ready? we go all right, so we're inside now, and uh, one thing to definitely note that's a big important factor is that once you do come inside, you're actually immediately into your bed, which is great in of itself, but the problem is, is your shoes. Your shoes are muddy, <laughs> dirty, gross, wet, whatever. You have to leave them outside, usually. Now, unless you figure out a way to plastic bag it and store it and everything in here without getting in the way, that's an option. The, what we found works out really well, we actually leave them in a tote and then we just put the lid on it and keep them outside. That way it's waterproof and we don't have an issue. Yeah. So far, nobody's stolen our shoes. So, yeah, so far. <laughs> hopefully that if, doesn't if, happen. If you see us out there... <laughs> Please don't take our shoes. Yeah, don't, don't come up and play a joke on us. <laughs> so anyway, but that's one of the big ones that we it was a learning curve coming in. Now during the summertime, we do use flip-flops a lot, which are easier to shove in a bag and we can hang them on a hook that we have here. So hang them on a hook or, or we can use the, a little, the side bins here yeah so i usually lay mine on top of the window because it has a nice little shelf yeah so i mean that that's worked out really good but that's one huge thing that was a living a, a change for us we had to figure out how adjustment, to adjustment yeah. that's the word yeah. i was looking for so but other than that i mean the like i said the mattress of, of itself is actually really it's comfortable but over the years of use it has already started to compress down so it doesn't have a lot of longevity on it the other one too is it comes with a teddy bear fuzzy kind of outing i thought that it was removable you could wash it you actually can't remove it it is actually part of the mattress so it is what it is so if you do spill any food or drink on it you're just kind of stuck with it yeah. so again one of the things we definitely will upgrade over the next year two years however long it takes us to finally do pull the trigger to do yeah. it we will definitely be upgrading the mattress um in this and that's yeah that's for us because what i what i've noticed with a lot of people online that have these they they transport a lot of their stuff in here yeah and, i mean they they either fold up the mattress use it in the sofa mode i guess yeah we don't no and when you do actually fold up the mattress it comes up to here so you're losing you this lose compartment space and you're not really gaining anything else yeah. other than maybe six inches of foot room there i i don't i don't understand the the uh, benefit of it i don't either other than i mean i guess you can leave your shoes on if you want to i don't i wouldn't want that I, dirt I, and mud I, inside i want it yeah shoes don't come in here yeah but uh yeah 
but um, yeah, so okay, so what you can see from here, there's two um, switches here, and there's also this one. I'll push it just so you can get effect, but they're just push button. Um, they run off of battery, so it's they pull very little battery, um, so they can be ran almost all the time. And uh, yeah, about my little oh, yes, the Fury that you can't see because yeah. it's hard. My decorative. <laughs> and these actually added, I bought them at the dollar store. They actually have lights inside of them. So it just, and it's battery operated. So it just adds when we're um, boondocking, it just has a little bit of light. That's yeah. fun. It's nice. But anywho, okay. yeah, this Bluetooth speaker, it's great. It's it disconnects. Actually, yeah. it, it actually disconnects off of there. And you can actually pull it out to where you're camping and everything. And so and you have a flashlight. Yeah. So, and it, it's actually really cool and Bluetooth, like you said, so. Yeah, you can use it in here, you can use it outside, mm -hmm. you can use it back in the kitchen. It, it It's great sound. I mean, it sounds better than the TV that came with it. Yes, it does, so much um, better. Yeah. But we just now noticed a couple the, of nights ago that we have <laughs> USB ports up here as well. Which is great. Which is a lot better than Invisible. having it right here because if you notice what I'm doing right now, I mean, if I'm sitting here and we got it charged. We break just the cord. Broke it. Yeah, and it, the cords always stick out. They don't make any 90 degree flat cords for the USB powers. So we, and oh, one thing else too. Um, you, we put electrical tape over this light because there is a constant green, green light, light right beside your face when you're sleeping here. And, I, when, you, and when you get out to the woods and places are it pitch is black, bright. that little green LED will light up well, the entire this thing. plus the red leds on, on the, the air, conditioner. air conditioner the green led on the plug-in of the air conditioner the green led on the co2 detector <laughs> yeah, they're there's bright. a lot of lights in this thing yeah so electrical tape is your friend and yeah. it covers it up and blacks yeah. it out so that's one of the definitely negatives we found on this um but inside at least <laughs> <laughs> so and it, it's not totally a negative no and it's an easy fix i mean cheap electrical tape fixes everything so yeah. um, some of the other things you do have your fire extinguisher inside here it is kind of at a low level um, I've seen a lot of people where they moved them up and everything we haven't done that yet because it hasn't really become a problem for us yeah I haven't kicked it or rolled into so it yet. it's still fine for now um, the other one too we have these cup holders hers works mine works for now but mine has a tendency to fall down but she's put something in here to try to help keep it up a little bit but repair it and it's kind of working yeah i don't know it we've used them i don't know if it's a plus or minus but they're yeah it's there if, I put, if you're gonna hang out in here i mean yeah. on, on rainy days and evenings when you get in here for bed it's it, they're great to hold your beverage so you don't because it's got a little hook on here so it'll hold your beverage so you don't accidentally knock it over and spill it ruin your night sleeping <laughs> in a wet bed yeah. So. yeah now one thing else um too i'm sure you guys are questioning like the size dimensions inside of this thing um to put in perspective i'm five foot ten you're six six foot yeah, so i mean we still have enough space and when we flip the camera around here we'll show you more and i'll actually lay down in we here to give you the idea we have enough space i i like sleeping with my arms up under the pillows so with me holding on my pillow, my feet are just dangling a little bit off the edge of the mattress. And on this side over here, which is also the non-main entrance door, there's a table at the end of this one. That's which the reason our camera's why camera's sitting on right now. Yeah, and so that's the reason why I'm actually on. This is my side because I am shorter. the The table does actually hinder some of the sleeping. There's brackets that are on the bottom, so you have to actually kind of be strategic a little bit on your placing of your feet yeah. um it's not terrible but, but you I mean, can fold it down and even if you fold it down you're still losing that spacing because yeah. the way it is actually folded down so either way you're still going to kind of hit it on this side if you're tall if you're short it's not going to be an issue so ignore everything we just said but if you have height you, it can become a problem if you're not i don't know thinking about it or yeah. strategically placing yourself where you to sleep I personally haven't really had much of an issue with it. I usually sleep with the table up all the time. Uh, that way it gives me a little bit more leg room. So, yeah. And we'll we'll show you pictures later on or video later on with us actually Damn, laying whoops. inside of it um, so that we can actually see the height level. That or I'm probably doing it right now. Ooh. Yeah. It's, this may just be voiceover. Okay. Um, this bed, like she said, yeah, it's uncomfortable and whatnot, but... 
gets the job done. It gets the job done. So don't let it be the hindrance oh, of yeah. not purchasing it. And I'm I mean, sure if you're buying it brand new, it'll be definitely a lot more springier than what it is now. But like I said, over the year, it's I can tell a difference just on the side sleeping that my hip hurts yeah. now. And I mean... So. The people we bought it from, they, they said they only used it once. I don't know how long. I, I think they said they were out a week. Yeah. So, I mean, they slept in it a week. We, we've we went on. We've had a, quite a few different weekend trips. Yeah. So. Probably seven or eight different trips. So, we've, we've probably slept on it a total of a month. And for it to break down that quick. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. But everybody's different with mattresses. What that, they I'm like. a heavy boy. <laughs> well, everybody has their own preferences, so but, we'll see. But. Um, other things to point out in this, the interior, there's no screen doors. Oh, yeah, that's one of the one things I don't understand at all. And, I mean, they've got plenty of gap, plenty of room here. But, I can't understand why they did not I install a screen door. To me, it would be so nice to be able to open this up and have the screen door open all the time versus our one window and the vent up top yeah. and get the nice or, yeah sleep with the doors open sleep with the doors open but you can't you can't have the doors open even with the without the screen doors because there's not a way to hold them open there's no latch there's no anything we found a bungee cord works okay to actually secure them yeah. back a little bit um there are little latches you can actually buy online that they use on the same actually as the gar uh, garage door but you have to install them and everything and i just didn't want to add more i don't more. want to drill into it I, yeah and yeah. so that's something we we could do but again there's no screen so if you have a bug issue you're out of luck anyway yeah. so um that's one thing i don't understand on this it would be nice to have a screen of some sort or even a window that opened here yes. on both sides um and with the window not even opening if you're going to make a solid window in a glacier package why are these windows not double pane yeah but they i mean they I'm, hold up they're fine yeah but what we've noticed in our cold weather here, well, well yeah i can show you on, on i'm still dude up that one's really bad, but I mean, yeah, we can show you. But that. it's outside. No, that's inside. That's inside. <laughs> that's inside. So condensation is an and issue. What I've noticed this morning is where we're getting the cold from are your windows, like your house. Your weakest point is yeah. your windows, and for them not to insulate those more. If, if you're going to sell something for $13,500 in advertised glacier package, I would hope that, that I would invest a little bit into these doors. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. Phone. More likely my mother. Nope. That was me. That was <laughs> oh, that work. Was yours. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, mom. But yeah, I mean, the windows, the windows, you can feel the cold. The, the other one, too, that we've has surprised us um, more than anything is that on this particular door here, there's actually a gap. Um, yeah. You can actually see daylight. Hopefully, that's just ours. I'm hoping. And maybe the make, wind make sure, maybe the wind damaged it and shifted it. I don't sure know. Make sure you look at your door jams. And, I mean, get inside, shut the door, shut the lights off. And if you can see daylight, <laughs> if you're buying it from the, the manufacturer or a dealer... See if they can readjust them or whatnot. To fix it, because that's a pretty big issue, because we get bugs come in. And... You get bugs come in. You can get a breeze, a draft. I wouldn't say that it, it's too much of a damper, because like, like I said, or we said earlier, it did hold the heat pretty good. Oh, it did. And and actually, it's probably pretty good, because now we got a ventilation for propane yeah. that we use. We can use our propane heater without having to crack all the windows. Yeah. Or the Which, window. <laughs> the window. <laughs> nice. <laughs> But no, and actually that is one thing that we did, like we talked about earlier, is we did winter camp and the little propane heater we got, we'll link down below what we purchased and the two separate ones we purchased. And uh, one actually worked, it's better fitting for this unit. They both work great, but one fits better with this uh, particular model yeah, than the other one. Yeah, they both work great as in for propane heaters. Yes. One is a, a definitely no. Don't use in this because one. Because if it, you it get angles. comfortable with it, and you leave it in here and you're not paying attention it'll melt your ceiling yes it'll start a fire and it'll burn your camper down yeah so definitely we'll we'll tell you the ones down below there on that but that was one definitely learning lesson on that we've learned on that but it holds the heat well so and yeah don't hold us and, to either one of them because you're putting a propane heater inside this thing that's on you that's not on <laughs> us yes exactly we we only run it while we're awake 
Yes. We'll bring it up to temperature, kill it, go to sleep. And that, with that being said, one other thing I've, I've added on here is this actually metallic uh, thermal insulating thing. Um, it's Camco, I believe was the name. We can link it down below. It was a cheap little purchase. And two reasons why we purchased it. One, it actually holds the, insula the heat inside and insulation. Two, um, it also blocks the daylight. There's no shade up on here. So sometimes... Well, it's tinted, but yeah, it, it it's, is tinted, it, it'll still let in light. Which is not a problem. I, I don't mind it either way, but for winter camping and everything, this it is. I just put Velcro on here, and so I can pull it off and back on, but there's a lot of condensation right now, so <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> So that is something that we, this particular trip, there is a lot of condensation. Last time we winter camped, there wasn't much. There was some, but it wasn't as bad as this. Yeah. Maybe it's just a little bit more humid this time go around. I'm yeah. not sure. Well, it, but, it depends on the cold. Yeah. Cold outside, what the temperature is inside type thing. But yeah. Uh, speaking of temperature, the air conditioner. Oh, it's Dang great. sure does work in this thing. Yes. I mean, it, it's oversized. I mean, it's probably an air conditioner for a a bedroom, a yeah. large bedroom, and it's stuffed into this small little camper. And it stays cold. So during so the winter nice. time, or not during summer. the winter time, during the summertime when it's hundred some degrees out in your camp, you hop into this sucker. It gets cold. And it's nice. Yeah. It is so nice. And that's the reason why we actually do have a lot of extra bedding on here because I am always cold. You can probably see I'm wearing like three jackets right now. So. <laughs> and I'm the opposite. Yeah. Anyway. So for me, I keep a lot of bedding and everything and a lot of, a lot of warm clothing. So. But, but. Other than that, I mean, I think we've knocked out well, as much as we can think on of. On this particular side. We'll show more. We'll flip it around and try to show more on the other side and get more into actually like the. I don't, what is that thing called? The inverter? Yeah, the inverter yeah. and everything. And what we, we've also pulled the fuse on it whenever we're not actually using it. Yeah, that, um, that helps with the battery. And uh, yeah, it's glad, I'm, it's a good thing that we finished the, yeah, the exterior already because there's the there's wind. There's the wind, Oklahoma. Oklahoma for you. But anyway, we're, we're babbling on. Um, One of the, oh, sorry. One thing else, I don't know if you can see this on here. It does come with a little clothes hanger thing here. There's a rack. I'll show it. But it, I've never used it. I don't know when we'd ever use it. No. Um, it's just kind of there. For Maybe. us, I think it's in the and, way. And I wouldn't use it to dry things on because if you're drying, the water's going to be dripping down onto your bed. So I don't, yeah. I don't. If get you've that. got an infant living in here, the infant can store its clothes on there because it won't dangle on the bed. <laughs> That's probably yeah. But I could see where drying a towel could be useful, but I. Again, I don't. If unless your towel is already pretty much dry, and you're just trying to get the last of the little dampness out of it, but I don't know if you'd want to dry it here. You, you can dry it outside in the sun. So I don't. I don't understand this here, and I'm sure there's a reason for it. Oh, one thing else you'll notice too, um, you get a lot of bouncy in this vehicle. So or this camper. I mean, we're barely even moving, and I'm hoping the camera's showing it. It you definitely. It bounces a lot. So every little movement you make, actually, you see and feel. So yeah. so that is one of the downsides. To but it. you, I mean, I don't know if adding the two f uh, forward jacks, stabilizing jacks, would help that much. Probably. But, I mean, it's no big deal. It, Yeah, and again, like we've said before, this... It's the Baja package. Ooh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, as we said before, this basically is a glorified tent in all, all purposes. And it's basically a hard shell tent. Yep. With shore power electricals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With the yeah, with the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen. I like I like the kitchen part. If I had to do it over again, um, we bought this because our Jeep can tow it. Our small Jeep can pull it. Yes. And if I had to do, do over again, flat landing it or driving on flat land. I would probably go and try to get the 16 foot version that they have with the interior bathroom. Yes, we never, when we first started going out, I mean, we were like, oh, tent camping and going to the bathroom, no big deal. But as we're getting older, it would be yeah, nice to have the bathroom. Drinking adult beverages at night, yeah. you end up having to get up and it's no big deal when you're at home. <laughs> yeah. But when you have to put on open shoes, up, put on shoes, exit out of the door with a, the step, put on a light walk to wherever the bathroom is or even if you now there's different ways obviously to solve the issue i mean we have the bucket 
the honey pot which we actually have no issues with it at all so that's one way but again you're still exiting and everything as well yeah. so if it's cold which we've cold camped uh, you you need to layer up before you go out and yeah. so and then opening the door you lose you're, your heat during the summertime you're letting out your cold in the so. winter time you're letting out your heat so so just keep that in mind i mean it it's not that big of an issue with us and it may no. not be a big issue with you guys but no it, it all depends on how you camp so that's the other one too and that was part of the reason why a lot of people don't like this particular model is because there isn't a, a restroom in here um so that's one of the biggest negatives with this is there is no bathroom and there's no gray water tank which again but to us it makes it a lot lighter and i mean yeah. this my little jeep little 3.7 v6 has no problem pulling this thing around right i mean matter of fact so that's at a huge times, plus at times it's too light because you can feel it just dancing but yeah it, it pulls it just fine we haven't taken it to mountains yet so we don't know how it's going to react going up the mountains but Hopefully we've seen we've seen people tow it with less yes so, so it shouldn't be an issue and we'll see hopefully this year if things go right yeah just subscribe and follow yeah if you have any questions for us please ask yeah hit us up in the comments and i'm sure we haven't covered everything um there's always stuff to talk about with this thing and We're depending on how popular this video gets and if there's a lot of questions and it's a lot of stuff that we've missed we may do an updated video at the end of this season yeah once we get out because this year i think we're going to do a lot more with this camper yes and uh yeah so i mean just follow along with us see our headaches see if it helps you guys but yeah yeah, yeah. so for now i think we're going to sign off i I'm hope this helped you guys and maybe some more coffee yeah more coffee <laughs> all right guys see ya